So my name is uh, Bishop Andrew Uma. Um, I'm a pastor here in Kibera community. Mm. Yes. Uh, this week we, we are mourning a great man, mm. uh, Duke Abeba. A great man, a humble man, a man of the people, a man who is a kingdom man. And uh, we are mobilizing ourselves together to give him a, a befitting send-off. Mm. Because Abeba was a man of the people, he was a kingdom man, he, he loved God, he loved the people, he loved the Kibera. Yes. And so on behalf of all the pastors and the bishops of Kibera, community, Nairobi, Kenya, mm. this generation, mm. come on, I'm speaking beyond the boundaries. Yes. And uh, mobilizing you and asking you to be in touch with us. Yes. We are burying on 15th of, uh, of September at Sunika. But before we bury uh, on 15th of September in Sonica, mm. we are gathering here on Sunday, mm. the 10th mm. of September, mm. at this church behind me here, mm. the Free Pentecostal Church, here in Makena Stage, to raise money. Mm. Come on, pastors, bring your offerings. Mm. Make it short on Sunday, mm. and let's be here mm. to gather money and bring love to Abeba family. Amen. May God be glorified. Mm. Wherever you are watching me from, whether on YouTube, whether you're watching me by, by television, whether you're watching me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. If you know Abeba and you know us and you love God's kingdom, be with us. Amen. The Lord bless you and God's people shout. Amen. Amen. Greeting in the name of Jesus, my viewers. We, the Kibera uh, clergy and also the Kibera clergy in, in, uh, sorry, in, in, in Kenya, we are mourning because of the departure of our uh, Reverend Duke Abeba. He was a man of God, very, very powerful. We have, we have crossed every part of this nation preaching the gospel with him. And we are calling all people to come together on, on, on Sunday, uh, the 10th. We are going to celebrate the life of, of, of uh, Bishop Reverend Duke Abeba and we'll be having a fundraise to help him, uh, to give him a, a decent send-off to his home in, in Suneka Kisi. So all people who can hear me, can see me all over the nation, we are inviting you, come, we celebrate the life of our departed soldier, Reverend Duke Abeba. May God bless you so much, even as you, you partner with us. Uh, praise and glory, we turn back to you. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Jina mina ito amati ni makoha, tumepotesa jesh ambao Duke Abeba na Jyoti, mutoto mukusi, na adituwacha, na tunaombolesa, na tunakuwa na mukutono tarekumi, Sunday, saatisa, hapa Free Pentecostal Church, tunaomba shirika zote na magari zote za kutoka town, tutakuwa ni hapa tu hapa, tutakuwa na traffic jam, na munga wabariki, na... Tunataka action. Speaks louder than words. God bless you. So, Sisi, me, the ladies, the pastor's wives, Wakibira, and also the female pastors, we are gathered here today because we lost our beloved brother, Pastor Reverend Ambeba, and uh, we are here to mourn together with the wife. I want to say that uh, it is painful for a wife, for a woman to lose a husband because the husband is the most important person in the life of a woman. And we know our friend has lost, Pastor Mbeba, a very caring man. I know she's going through difficult times at this moment. Sometimes, as we know, the African culture, many times the men don't give priority to her. It is, things are discussed, things are planned. Lakini, Sisi Kama, our mama, we decided to join up together to have her feel that she's accepted. And all we are praying, Yakwamba, to all the pastors, Wale Walijua Ambeba, all the ministers, because Ambeba was not only a pastor in Kibera, he was a pastor in Kenya. Please stand with this lady, send messages 
of encouragement and if there is any support ameacha watoto wacha tusongee huyu mama especially those female pastors outside there if you are hearing me those bishops female bishops please if you are hearing me it is my prayer that we can join together at this crying and trying moment to make this woman feel that she really was a wife of a man of God and she needs to be strong and soldier on as the husband was. So together as the Kibera pastor's wives and the pastor's female pastors, we say that let the soul of our beloved brother rest in peace and all we stand in solidarity with the family to say let the peace of the Lord reign. And all of us we say, Amen. I am a bishop Daniel Muli. I am a member of Evangelical Missions across the world. Abba Hebra. I am a member of Tumejuana kutoka 2006 Diyo nili uwesa kumijua Wakati uwa kumijua nia kule kanisa na Krisko Kutoka wakati uwa kumijua juana Kumijuana mambo mengi na Diyo Mwanzo mwanzo wakati ya meanza ministry Nime musaidia kwa mambo ya mambo ya mwerusi Luzi le alikuanga naso mingi Kumekua kileta tuku wangu Nami na musaidia to kubana hizo occasion kwa mwanja na ye Kubana kumushaudi kwa mambo mengi Na nawesa kusema njiu kwa ndewa na mitu wa watu Mara mingi tukitaka mkutano Kwa nasema kama munataka mkutano watu wakuje Tutume njiu kwa ndewa Kuna network nzuri ya wachungaje Na atawesa kuita wachungaje wakuje Na kuna organization mingi ambao Kuna moja meningisa kuna zingine tu mkua tutu kipanda na ye na kwa hivyo minajua hii ni kibindi kizumu kwa familia familia na wajua kibindi kicha ungonjwa niweza kuenda kwa ke kukajuana na mke wake kumoja na watoto na hakaenda hospitali kule mbangadhi mkua nikienda kumuona kule mbangadhi tukiomba na ye kuwa mgonjwa mbaka wakati amelala kilala nilikuwa bande sama kuwe nilikuwa na jibote ya bamba amelala lakini kuinga tumbano wa ndeba vila alikuwa mtu wa watu umeona hata kwa hizi meeting tuko watu wengi wanakuja naona wanasikia kweli wamepoteza lafiki na mimi pia nimepoteza lafiki lakini nasema siku potesa amenitangulia ametangulia wale wengine tuko kwa hivyo tujiandae na tujua kwamba kuna mahali tunaelekea atuko hapa ndiye mlelele na kwa hivyo ni jambo nzuri tuweze kujadaa kwa hivyo Mungu ambariki wote ambao watakuwa kishirikiana hapa na Arobi kule manyumbani e, tukingojea siku ya mwisho ya kujihusisha ndugu yetu Reverend Joko Abeba asante Hey hello uh why must to say that uh I'm grateful to to stand before thee and let you guys know that I'm called Sam Injiru and uh, I serve with a ministry called Yonsas for Christ Ministry in Kibera. My passion and my craving desire is to love Jesus and make Jesus known by reaching young people and also helping the local churches in Kibera and uh, in Kenya at large. I came to Nobeba many years back uh, while I was uh, in Crisco and uh, together with uh, the team that we used to do evangelism, God graced us to reach out to Abeba. And uh, through my close friend who is today uh, a reverend or a presbyter called Abuta, we were able to lead Abeba to Christ. And Abeba became a very effective member of Crisco. And uh, as a result of that, Abeba joined evangelism and he became very, very fruitful. And uh, from there is where Abeba decided to, uh, to follow his call. And uh, he went to Bible school. And from which he, be able, he was able to begin a ministry and a church. To me, I know Abeba to be a, a zealous person, a person who loves Christ, and a person who loves people love. God bless you as we support him. Give him all the support you have. Shalom.
My names are uh, Reverend Fredo Tigo. I minister in the church called Kingdom Power Cathedral, Ministries International. We are based in Woodland, Kibera. I knew Reverend uh, Duke Abebe Nyachoti as a dear brother, as a pastor, as a minister, as a father, as a husband, and also as a servant in the Kingdom of God. It's unfortunate that you've lost him uh, unexpectedly, but nonetheless, we know that uh, Christ has called him to glory. We shall meet him when Christ will have come to take us home. As a, as a colleague, I want to appeal to pastors, church leaders, well wishers and friends and relatives, wherever they are, to uh, rise to this call and be part of the team that can be able to give sacrificially so that we can be able to put our resources together to give, take our brother home and give him this and burial that befits a son in the servant in the kingdom of God. We have the number there for our contribution where you can send your money and please get that number clearly, send your money and as we do that, God will continue to bless you because we are going to take our brother home on 14th. We shall do a service on 13th here in Free Pentecost Church, Makina Kibera. On 14th, we shall travel, take his body home. And on 14th, 15th, we shall bury him in the sea in Sumeka. Welcome all. May God bless you. And may God bless you. Shalom, shalom. The peace of God. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. My name is Reverend Francis Anubi of Providence Evangelistic Church uh, in Dagoretti Corner. Uh, I knew Abeba as a servant of God, a man with a passion, a man who had a big heart to serve the people, to reach the people. And uh, he also had an opportunity to introduce me to his family his wife and his children, and his church uh, that was called that is called uh, the Word Impact, the, the Word the Word the Word Bible Church. So uh, we've worked together. He has been a brother. He has been an encourage an encourager. And uh, every time um, when we, we we used to meet here in Kibera slums for many years, he has always been a man with joy, a man who could smile a man who could uh, encourage and give hope where there is no hope. So I want to ask all the pastors, all the servants of God, the church, because right now the whole Kibera is mourning because of this great general who has gone to be with the Lord. So I want to ask all of us to come, pull our resources together so that we can uh, send this great man of God in a decent way. And so we will be having a, a, a funeral service for all pastors on 13th of uh, September. And then on 14th, we'll be preparing to leave and uh, go to Suneka. And then on 15th, we'll have the, his burial. And we look forward to send him uh, in, a, in a godly way, in a way that is befitting a great general like Reverend, the late Reverend Duke Abeba. So, Thank you so much and I'm praying for the family that God will comfort them, give them peace, give them joy so that they can always trust in him. Shalom and may the Lord bless you. Amen. I to Apostle Baraza Cornelius. I am going to be the Faith Books Ministry. I am going to be the Faith Books Ministry. Naitwa Reverend Ovasia Duke Nyachoti Abeba Nimemjua muda mrefu nilimjua nikiwa Tanzania nikihudumu commissioner nikapata Dar es Salaam na nilipo huko kutoa fomu nikakutana na yeye tena alimpia nikapata nifungua kanisa la yani nilihubiri kwake na pia nikakuja sasa nikaweka huduma hapa Lindi Na Duke ni mtu amependa Mungu. Na ni mtu anajuana na watu wengi sana. Amenipeleka kwa mkutano. Nimeenda kwa kesine kusuneka tumeenda kuhubiri Sengerema Tanzania na yeye. Nimelala kwake. 
Hako na muka na nijua bisuri, watoto wake wote Kuna mstana mkubwa Naituwa Mora, Wapili, Gideon, Watatu, Patricia Na waina naituwa Frank Kwa hivyo ni mutu naelewa bisuri Na ni mutu anapenda mwe Kwa hivyo Wakati ambapo Wakati ambapo Tunaomboleza kifo chake Ni usumi kwa Kwa mani mekua na yata kwa hospitali Kini hambia ni mkanishe Nimeenda kwa nyumba ni kapele kwa toko Mekua yake Tukaungia na yaki nyambia ni mkanishe Ni kumilua Ni jambo usumi kabisa Mimi kama rafiki kwa karibu Kila juni lasima ni pigie Tumekua tukika na ye Tukiongea na ye Na hata bila lianza Kujoncheka tulikuwa na ye Nibonga mawe tu Tukaenda mkutano pale Kukisho kifo mae na ye Nibonga Kwa mtani kikuwa yangu, lakini kamuungisa lao. Sasa tukamukulaisi watu na ye. Kwa hivyo ni mtu rafiki yangu wakaribu. Na tumekua na ye kwa hivyo. Nimi na umboleza. Nimepoteza rafiki. Nimepoteza ndugu. Nimepoteza mtu ambotu nifanya na ye mambo mengi. Na nashukuru mungu wacha mungu wa mweke malipema peponi. Na familia yake. Mungu wa tia mufu. Thank you. You are watching Empire Media Express. Keep watching.